Now since we all, this is Black Light, since most of my people, and this is what uh, my mother came up under the spell of, since most of our people idolized and worshiped the Caucasian, uh, we replaced him for the supreme being, which is a black man. And we we use this Caucasoid as God. Now, some of you say, well, I don't, I don't use him as God. No, we imitating him. We acting just like him. We're taking on his attributes instead of the attributes of God. And so, he don't, uh, the, the Caucasian, he don't like that either. But he know he could use you when he got when he got your mind captivated, and you when he see you acting like him, you know he know that you're no threat to him. But he can't stand your ass. Not not just because uh, you black, but he don't like traitors. You know. He said, this man going against his natural instincts, his natural nature, and bowing down to me. This stupid ass nigga. Ignorant. You know, how stupid can a, can a person be? How stupid can a people be that bow down to someone that they demonstrated to them that I don't like their ass, all I got to do is tell them I love them. Can we be brothers? They'll trust that. And then they'll try to get along with me. To get along, they got to imitate me. And I can just take their women, pedophile their children, put them in jail when I want, cut their heads off when I want, burn them up when I want. I can do anything I want to these fools. You know, a lot of you don't think like that. Y'all say, "Well, I got a friend. I got a, I got a, a Caucasian friend that's, uh, you know, she, uh, me and her get along pretty good. You know, we, we party together, we, we uh, get high together, and uh, we swap men together. She turned me on a Caucasian friend. I turned on to my black boys, and we cool with each other. You know." And then she said, how stupid can this fool be? You know. Uh, they're using you. You know. Uh, they don't have no use for you to steal your soul. You know, that's how they learn how to dance. That's how they learn how to sing. That's how they learn how to rap. That's how they learn how to dress. That's how they learn how to uh, talk here, you know. That's how they learn how to how to how to how to use slang, uh, you know. That's how they learn how to even make make love, sweet love, you know. Uh, can't nobody make love like the black woman and the black man. So they done took over America. They took over South America, they took over Central America, then they took over North America, and the wrath of our law has came, Hurricane Irma, Hurricane Harvey, etc. Nothing like it. And uh, fires burning in California, still burning, all all out west, you know. And earthquakes, 
tsunami coming. Probably hitting New York. Because y'all refuse. Y'all niggas up there refuse. And you know, it's black people. A long time ago, black people used to get caught up in that too much. But now it's catching y'all too. Because y'all want to live. Y'all want to live by them and mingle with them. And so this is what's going to happen to you. You know. So America is designated to burn. Unless you learn. And soon as the, you know, time is running out because the universe can't wait forever, you know, for, so you, so if you don't, I don't know when it's going to happen. Nobody knows that, that hour when it's going to jump off. But if you have a mass awakening, you might deter judgment and Allah might preserve a sweet spot for you. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm hoping that the majority of our people wake up and Michigan will be this sweet spot. Where, up here in Detroit, where Master Farad first came to lay out this knowledge on us and this wisdom, this black light out. <laughs>